easy to make barbecue tofu and i'm key and welcome to my channel right here i got four 14 ounce of tofu extra firm you cannot use the salt for this recipe so i'm going to take this tofu and i have a bowl right there and in the bowl i just have plain flour and i'm going to add seasoning to the bowl and I'm going to season the flour so I can have a cover for the tofu when I'm about to fry it. And I'm going to take those seasonings, put it inside of that bowl, and then cover the tofu with, with this flour. And with the flour, what it does is it gives a nice crisp to the tofu so it can hold the sauce better. And that's just in my opinion. So after I mix this all up, then I'm about to take and cut the tofu so I'm getting ready now to take the tofu and cut them into triangles now, I cut the tofu into triangles because I feel as if every tofu recipe should have their own shape. And with my barbecue tofu, I like to make it in triangles. At least make sure they're half an inch wide or a quarter inch wide. You do not want it so thin because it will break up. And it will get like a bunch of broken pieces. You want the pieces to be nice and firm and to hold. So try not to really like um, have the pieces too thin. So we're going to take the tofu and we're going to cover it with the flour. And then we're going to get ready to fry it. And shake off all that extra flour if needed. Don't put too much flour in the pot. There you go. So we're going to take this tofu now. We're going to fry it until it's pretty much a crisp on the outside. And then you can hear the crisp on the outside of the tofu. And next and further recipes, I will explain more about tofu. Because trust me, it's so easy to work with. Yep, and with the magic of TV, we can speed this up. So now I've finished frying all of the tofu. And just as you can see, they're all nice and brown. And they have a good crisp on it. Now, they're not going to be as salty as chicken or as any type of meat would be because it's beans. But you would add more salt to it if needed. But there's other methods. But this way, it's good for people that has high cholesterol and high blood pressure. It's not that much salt. So now we're going to add garlic and pepper to the same pot but we're gonna pour out some of that oil if obviously we're not gonna put so much oil inside of it so we're gonna pour out some of that oil so we can have a a nice fry and it will be oily and I'm just gonna make sure it's the vegetables are tender they're not gonna be so you know hard before I take and add my barbecue sauce to it So now I'm putting my barbecue sauce to it. Now, if I was making it without the breaded, the flour on the outside of the tofu, I would leave the sauce that thick so the sauce can at least stick onto the tofu. But now because I have that flour on the outside of the tofu, I'm going to try to make the sauce a, a little bit waterier so it can sit down and have a sauce and it won't just be a bunch of thick paste 
you'll see if you ever had to leave your tofu to dry and you have a breaded outside, it will make the sauce very thick. Of course, it's a flour. So just add enough water to it so you can have a good sauce. So right now I'm about to put some garlic and some onion powder and a little sugar to it. I would use honey, but I didn't have none. And trust me, I believe in substitution. If you don't have it, you can't use it. But right now I have some brown sugar and that's what I'm about to add to this. I like my barbecue sweet. Sorry, kill me. Yes, and now I'm about to add this water. I don't really measure anything. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me with that. Eventually, I will put measurements to my um, ingredients, but I usually just eyeball everything. Please forgive me for that. That's how I was taught to cook, just to give your own eyeball and your own opinion to how much you feel you should add to your food. And when you become more of a better cook to vegetarian food, boy, it's like, it's going to be just like how you would fry regular chicken. Yeah, thumbs up. You know, like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. That bubbling up. Yep, and the magic of TV again. If you like it, thumbs up. Yep, there it goes, the finished product product of my barbecue tofu. And I had some macaroni aside with it and some salad. I know y'all like, where's the tomatoes? No, they don't eat tomatoes in my house, boy. But there goes the finished product. And that's my children's favorite meal. <laughs> boy, this tofu only lasts for a day and a half. I'm it was gone so 